sky. So let's go to our rounding of numbers. So if we look here at the first one, it says round to the nearest thousand. So when we round to a near, the nearest thousand, then we underline our thousand and we circle the number next to it. So we want to change this thousand. Either it's going to stay the same or it's going to become one bigger. Okay. And we look at the hundred to see whether the thousand is going to become one bigger or if it's going to stay the same. So we ask ourselves, is the two four and smaller or five and bigger? Okay, the two is four and smaller. So therefore the five stays same. And all the numbers after it becomes zero. Okay, we do another one. Let's do number two. So we're rounding to the nearest thousand again. We underline our thousand. We circle, sorry. We circle our hundred. There we go. Now the four is either gonna stay the same or it's going to become one bigger. Okay, we look at our hundred to see if the four is going to change, the thousand is going to change or not. So is eight four and smaller or is eight five and bigger? Okay, so eight is five and bigger. So this four becomes one more and four thousand, the bigger one is then five thousand and all the numbers after it becomes zero. Okay, now let's look at number three. Asa, are you going to help me with number three? Okay, so what do we do first? We circle the one. Okay, so there's now two ones. Yeah, and the one is under the four, so is going to be 1,000. Okay, so we circle our 1,000. We underline our 1,000. We circle our 100. The 100 either changes the 1,000 or keeps it the same. The 1 is 4 and smaller, so our 1,000 stays the same. Yeah, okay. At the phone, yeah, is your speaker working? Atlakhan, are you able to speak? I don't think you're able to help me. Okay, Asa, you're going to do the next. Uh, let's do number seven. Asa, help me with number seven. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, what do we do first? We circle the nine. We circle our nine. So that's supposed to be around the nine, yes, and then? We underline the three. Okay. The, then our answer is 4,000. Okay, our answer is 4,000. Why is our answer 4,000? Hmm? Why is the answer 4,000? Why did you change your three? Because the nine is is on top of the four. <clears throat> okay, because the nine is five and bigger. So if your hundred is five and bigger, then your thousand changes. Okay, now let's mm -hmm. go to the next one. Okay, so it's rounding to the next thousand again and there's all the answers and then when we add okay so why do we call this method and the numbers mm -hmm. are under, under each other like this Ra rounding no huh. so this hmm. is 
color method or the stacking method. We are putting the numbers underneath each other. So when we add these numbers, do we start by adding our thousands or do we start by adding our ones? Our oh, ones. Our units, okay. So if we fill in these numbers, so oh, we start with our units. So what is our units? What are we gonna add? Five. Five with? Five. Five with, um, five with, with the number at the bottom, and five plus zero gives us equals one. Five. Okay, there we go. Then we go on to our next number, and our next number is our ten. So then we add our. What are we gonna add? We are gonna add our one to the to to the seven to the hundred. Now you're gonna add our ten. So our first ten is a nine. Our second ten is an eight. So nine plus eight gives us eleven. Mm -mm. Seventeen. Seventeen. So we write down our seven and then the one carries over to our next number. Okay, so now we need to add our hundreds. What is seven plus seven? Seven plus seven, fourteen. Okay, fourteen plus the one that we carried over. Two. 14 plus 1 gives us 15. Yes. And then we carry over the 1. Yes, ma'am. And then we've got the same again. 7 plus 7 gives us 14. Plus the 1 gives us 15. So our answer is, how do we say that number, Asa? 15. 15,000. Uh, 15,000. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, Okay, let's do the next one. Well done, Asa. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Two more learners have joined us, so they can help us. Now, lady, are you going to help us first? Okay, are you going to do this one for me? There's 9,216 plus 8,389. Ma'am, this is... Yes, ma'am. Okay, so where do we start adding? Do we start adding our thousands first or do we start adding our units? No, our units. Our units, okay. So what is the first one? What are we going to add first? Six plus nine. And that gives us what? Eight. Fifteen. 15, so we write down our 5, and the 1 is carried over. Okay, what do we add next? 1 plus 8. 1 plus 8, and that's 8. What does that give us? 9 okay. plus the 1. That we carry by the 15 is okay. 10. And that leaves us with, with what? We put the zero. Okay, so it gives us 10. So we write down our zero. And the one carries over. Okay, what do we do next? 
we plus two. It's two plus three. Okay, and that gives us? What's two plus three? Five. Five? Five. And then what's the one? Three? Yes, ma'am. Is six. Okay, and that gives us six. Okay, this is the last one, the thousands. Yes, ma'am. Okay, what do we um, get when we add our thousands? Now, lady? Okay. So when we add our thousands, nine plus eight gives us 17, oh goodness. And this number is 17,605. Okay, thank you now, lady. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do, let's do this one. The 2,342 plus 8,741. Caitlin, are you going to help us? That's it. Okay. Um, so, what do we add first? Our thousands or our ones? Our ones. Okay, and that gives us what? Three. Okay, so we put out three. And then? Eight. And then we add up tens and that gives us eight. And then? Uh, zero and carry the one over. Okay, so three plus seven gives us 10. We write down our zero and the one is carried over. And then what is our last step? Uh, two plus, uh, uh, to plus all of them together, with, which makes 11. 11, so two plus eight gives us 10, plus the one that was carried over, and that gives and us 11. Well done, thank you, Caitlin. Okay. Now let's carry on to, there's all the answers, and then the subtraction part. Okay, so, Lerato. Quickly help me with, let's say, um, this one. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what do we do first? Do we first minus our thousands, then our hundreds, our tens, our units, or do we start minusing our units? Yes, ma'am. We start from the units. We start from our units. Okay. So... What is the first answer going to be, or the unit part going to be? Ma'am, which one are we doing again? Sorry, this one. We can't... Oh. Look carefully. Eight, uh, eight minus three and is five. Five. Okay. Four minus three is one. Yes. Two minus one is one. Yes. And three minus two is one. There we go. Okay, nice and easy. Thank you, Lerato. Yes, now, lady, what do you want to ask? You just need to unmute yourself. I can't unmute you. Okay, there we go. Do you want to do an example? Ma'am, this is me. lady? No, no, mine. Okay, let's just give everybody a chance and then I will ask you again, okay? Okay, Bothlale, you up next. Okay, so let's do another one of subtraction and let's do this one. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so what do we do first? 
Then we we say eight nine. We say nine minus eight. Okay. What are we left with? We left with one, ma'am. One, and then what do we do next? Then we minus we say six minus three. Okay, and that gives us. Three. Let me just try to write the three. Okay, and then three minus one equals two. Three equals two. Okay, and then the last part. Uh, eight minus five equals three. Equals. So how do we say this number? If you can read the 3, number. 3,231. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Botlale. Okay, so I think you've got the addition and the subtraction part. You understand. There's the answers if you've finished with it. I hope all of you have actually done this and now we're just quickly going through it. Now we're getting to multiplication. So this is also the stacking method. And now you need to remember your steps. So, um, okay, with Lale, do you have a question or do you just want to do another example? Ma'am, it's a question, ma'am, please. Ma'am, I don't understand. You muted me, but I can still unmute myself. Yes, I know, but please don't. Okay. Yes. Okay, thank you for planning. Okay. Asa, are you going to help us with the first one? So are we going to do this one? Another yes, ma'am. Let's do this one. Let's do the first one. Yes, okay. so what do we do first? When we multiply? We, the two digits. We, we times the seven. With what? Seven times seven. Okay, so seven times seven. And what does seven times seven give us? It gives us 14. Nah. Hmm. Oh my. I forgot. It gives you 49. Okay, so we write down our 9. And the 4 is carried over. Yes, ma'am. Okay, then what do we do? We times the 2. What? We, uh, the 4 with, with the 2 and the 1. No. So remember, when we multiply with two digits, we take our unit multiplier, this one, and we multiply it with both numbers at the top. Then, mm -hmm. when we start multiplying with our 10 multiplier, we first put our zero, and then we take our 10, and we multiply it with all the numbers at the top. Okay. So you already multiplied your unit multiplier with your unit. Now you need to multiply your seven with your two. So what is seven times two? Seven times two is... Six, 16. Count again, remember it's seven, 14. Okay. Seven times two gives you 14, plus the four gives you 18. Okay. okay. So this is the number that we get when we multiply with our seven. Top numbers are multiplied with our seven. Now we're going over to our 10 multiplier, and we need to put the zero to show that this is a 10 and in the place of the unit, because we're not done multiplying with the unit multiplier. 
So now we're going to say one times seven, and that gives us what is mm. one times seven? Mom, I couldn't hear you. What is one times seven? Is seven. It's seven. Seven. And then we take our 10 and we multiply it with our 10. And 1 times 2 gives us 2. Okay. Yes, now we need to add these two numbers together. So we're going to start at our units. 9 plus 0 gives us? What's 9. That's 9. 8 plus 7 gives us? Mm. Fifteen. Fifteen, and the one is carried over. One plus one is two, plus two gives us four. So our answer, when we multiply 27 times 17, gives us 459. Thank you, Asa. Okay, now let's quickly do another one. Erase that. Hmm. Let's look at this one. Caitlin, are you going to help me with this one? Okay, you just need to unmute. Okay, let's go. So, what do we do first over here? You say two times six. And what does that give us? Twelve. Twelve. So we write down our two. And the one is carried over. Then what do we do? Say two times three. And that gives us? Six. Two times three gives us six. And then what do we do with this Plus. one that we carried over? We, uh, we plus it with the, uh, with the um, six. We plus it with the six. And that gives us? Seven. Seven. And then, what's next? Oh, and then, uh, and then you write a zero underneath the two. We write the zero for the place of the 10 to show that this 3 is actually a 10. And then what do we do? What's next? We say 3 times 6. And that gives us? 18. 18. We write down our 8. The 1 is carried over. Then what do we do? We say 3 times Three. Okay, and that leaves us with nine. And then what do we do? Yeah. There we go. So what's our answer? Ten. Okay, what's our last step? To plus it. To plus together. These two answers together. And that gives us two plus nothing gives us. Two. Two. Seven plus eight gives us? Fifteen. You write the five and carry the one over. Okay, then what do we do? Uh, so we say one time plus, one plus Two. ten. One plus zero gives us one. One plus zero gives us one. And then this last part? Is just one. It's just one. So what's our answer? 1,152. Perfect. Thank you, Caitlin. Okay. With Lale, your hands up. Yes. With Lale. Yes, ma'am. Why should you, do you have a question? Mama, I want to do another sum, ma'am. You want to do